The West Coast is currently experiencing a very powerful atmospheric river where heavy rainfall and gusty winds have been uh, one of the major concerns associated with this atmospheric river along the West Coast. And we're seeing heavy snowfall as well in the higher elevations. And this is expected to continue over the next week. If we were to take a look at the latest depiction of the GFS model, you're going to see that eventually later into Sunday, we're expecting to see the heavy rainfall move into the Bay Area and eventually into the middle portion of the California as well, where Fresno could get involved with very heavy rainfall. As we see, this this um, storm system is expected to be the strongest out of this atmospheric river over the next week. So you need to pay it very close attention, especially since this rainfall will be heavy at times. So there is a high likelihood of flash flooding in many uh, vulnerable areas along the California coast. So you need to pay very close attention to that. And we do see in the higher elevations of the Sierras into very early on Monday, we're seeing of course very heavy snowfall as well as we're expecting feet of snow in the higher elevations where some areas in the sierra mountain ranges could experience up to six feet of snow which is considered very significant for you guys and then eventually this the rain should move a little bit further southward to where the los angeles symmetry topotson area should get a little bit more involved and now say for the san francisco area the worst of the rainfall should be right around monday morning right around 5 a.m and if i were to continue to move forward we do see that eventually by right around the midday on Monday into late, very late on Monday, the rain should move down into Los Angeles where the rain could be heavy at times. And uh, and of course, along the California coast, you could expect three to five inches or even more than that in some localized areas. And this rain will fall at a very fast clip. So flash flooding is certainly likely. But, uh, but by Tuesday morning, we should eventually see this rain wind down. But we, of course, have another storm system. System, right on the heels of this storm system moving just to the east as we're going to see a, a pretty powerful storm system move ashore along California by the early morning time on Tuesday and into the afternoon on Tuesday where this storm system isn't necessarily as strong as the first one but it still will add on to the already heavy amount of rainfall you guys are expecting to experience by this first storm system um, associated with this atmospheric river so of course flash flooding is likely there's a excessive risk of flooding throughout the throughout the western especially the western coast of california right along the ocean and of course the very heavy snowfall you need to pay very close attention to that not only in the higher elevations of california but into nevada and utah as well where it where this storm system will not lose its steam as it continues ahead further eastward and in fact will set up for our next potential major storm um, storm system for the east coast where we could see a large area experience very heavy snowfall and then we should see things begin to wind down by the wednesday time frame um as things should quiet down especially for anywhere for the locations that are just south of san francisco we will see a little bit of rain in northern california uh, um, california on wednesday but it won't be anywhere near the magnitude of rainfall you were experiencing from these first two storm systems but we should see another storm system approach the california coast by the late friday into early saturday time frame but it mainly should bring rain to the northern portion of california before eventually on sunday we will eventually see that rain move a little bit further southward into san francisco Francisco and Los Angeles so there will be a little bit of a break between Wednesday and Friday which is certainly good news but you need to bear, pay very close attention that uh, um, even well after the storm systems move through California the rivers still have yet to, uh, many of the bigger rivers still have yet to crest as it takes uh, a couple days after the storm moves through for the river to reach its peak um, when it comes to its flood stage. So you want to um, make sure to pay close attention to that because just because the storm has passed through does not mean the flooding will be over. And in many places, it would be just starting along the bigger rivers along California. So you need to pay very close attention to that. If you live in a flood prone area, you want to make sure you are prepared in case of a flood threat um, around your area. So you want to make so you want to make sure to take the necessary precautions as this atmospheric river is expected continue over next week especially for the coast of california and we do see that um the of course the higher elevation should expect heavy snowfall as well 
Here is the rainfall risk for Monday, and we do see that pretty much the majority of the coastal areas of California will be under a high risk of rainfall of excessive rainfall, as it seems likely that we're gonna see rainfall rates that are just gonna be high enough to create an excessive uh, higher level of flash flooding, a higher risk of flash flooding, and we should see a pretty extreme flood threat for much of California. So make sure to pay close attention to that. And here's the amount of rainfall you should expect over the next five days for the entirety of the United States. And we do see that much of California should expect anywhere between four to seven inches of rain, especially in the oranges where you will likely experience the heaviest rainfall. So when we're talking about um, rainfall that's that high, you need to prepare as if there's going to be an extreme flood threat because uh, four to seven inches of rain could certainly create um, the, um, set the stage for a major flood stage to occur in many rivers along California so you want to pay close attention to that and even moving further northward into the coastal areas of Washington and Oregon you could experience over um, right around two to four inches of rain so the flood threat won't be exclusive to California only as we should see that heavy rain move a little bit further northward as well but the heaviest of rain should be focusing right up along California coast such as San Francisco flooding is likely especially in the poorly uh, in the poor drainage drainage areas of the city so you want to pay very close attention to that and Los Angeles you also want to pay very close attention to a major flood risk associated with this atmospheric river over the next week. In terms of the amount of snowfall you should expect throughout the United States, we do see that in the higher elevations of the of California, you could experience up to eight feet of snow in some areas. So you want to pay very close attention to that if you're in the higher elevations and make sure to not drive under very heavy snowfall because the snowfall will, of course, be heavy at times in the higher elevation of California. And of course, we could see that possibility of a major snowstorm right around the northeast where in the interior northeast, you are experiencing over foot of snow based on the latest depiction of a GFS model and we are experiencing and the Midwest is also experiencing a major snowstorm out of one of the storm systems coming off the California coast that's expected to re-strengthen as it approaches the eastern half of the United States and we could see a significant snowstorm move into the Ohio River Valley as well so you want to pay very close attention to that. Take a look at what the GFS model is forecasting when it comes to this next significant snowstorm. So this slow pressure system will be a derivative of the, the atmospheric river that's going on right up along the west coast and we're going to see just enough instability behind the slow pressure system for this slow pressure system to gain a decent amount of convection for some snowfall to occur and of course heavy rainfall further southward and we're going to see just enough cold air in the interior northeast for a heavy snowfall threat to occur and we do see that we do see a little bit of heavy snowfall in the midwest moving through Indiana and Ohio and we do see that the backside of the this storm especially experiences very heavy snowfall which is the reason why the midwest could be in for a significant snowstorm associated with this slow pressure system now there's so uncertainty with the forecast we could see the low pressure system move either a little bit further northward or a little bit further southward depending on the position of the jet stream but i will say more likely than not the snow will be primarily restricted in the interior portions of the northeast as for the major northeast cities such as boston new york city and philadelphia i'd say most likely this will be a rain event as seems like the cold air is going to be a little bit too far north to bring that snow a little bit further southward so as a result we should see the snow mainly stay exclusive to the interior northeast as well as the midwest where there's going to be just enough cold air behind the snow pressure zone to create that possibility of very heavy snowfall along the western side of this old pressure system so here's my forecast when it comes to this atmospheric river along the west coast as well as this next potential major snowstorm along the east coast so for the for so for this next northeast snowstorm i'd say most likely the snow will be in the, in the area shaded in pink that's what the european model and the gfs model are now honing in towards and it seems unlikely we're going to see a radical shift that will bring the snow for us southward so this will primarily bring snow in the extreme interior portions of the northeast and portions of the midwest you need to pay very close 
close attention to this now as it seems like there's going to be just enough cold air on the back side of this so pressure zone for some snow to occur there's still some uncertainty with the forecast but you want to at least be aware of that possibility this week you guys could experience a major snowstorm and i'd say it's more likely than not at this point a major winter storm will impact the northeast coast as well as the ohio river valley now taking a look further westward of course along the west coast over the next several days in the areas shaded in the orange that's where you should expect three to five inches of rain and over five inches of rain in the area shaded in red right around where big sur is along the california coast so you want to pay very close attention to flooding rain mudslides are likely and we could even see some avalanches in the higher elevations of the sierra mountain ranges so we want to pay very close attention to that as this should be a multi-day event as the next two storm systems should move monday um through tuesday and then we will have a little bit of break between i'd say wednesday and friday for most of california before we will see more storm systems move in by the weekend so make sure to pay very close attention to that but th um i thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather related content